Hey, Terry Wilderness family. Today, I wanna to talk about some of the things you need to consider as far as your day-to-day -day and your appliances. Without going too deep into our off-grid lifestyle, because that will be another video, we live very simply. We don't use a lot of appliances because of the amount of power that they take up, the amount of space they take up. I'm in a tiny home. And we're really intentional with the things that we do have and choose to have. And the purpose behind that is because living off grid, again, you don't want to consume too much power at certain times of the day. You could, we just choose to live that way. We are very frugal. Living off the grid, you have two choices. One, being very frugal, and two, just living all out. We chose frugal. So, therefore, our choices on things were to be really minimalistic. But even with that thinking, it's important and does pertain to you as well. So, let's just say that the power goes out. Storm comes in, power goes out. You're a coffee drinker. You might have an espresso machine. There's a lot of fancy new appliances, and I know many of you have them. We used to have some, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the thing that I want you to consider is if these are things that you use in your day-to-day -day that keep you going, possibly like coffee pots and, and things like that, and even mixers for your baking and different things. I want you to consider all the different things you're using within your home. The reason I mention that is because, for example, I haven't used an electric coffee pot or any of those fancy things in a long time. I have my percolator that I use on my wood cook stove or on my propane burner, okay? This works all the time. It provides me with what I need, whether hot water, coffee, pine nettle tea, whatever. I have that on hand all the time. I also have a French press in here and another tea kettle that I utilize. And then you could say I sort of have a, an old kettle fetish. But this is a great size to make my uh, immune boosting tea in every winter and keep that simmering on the wood cook stove. And then I also have just one on the wood cook stove at all times for water. Hot water, it also adds moisture into the air. Okay, I share all that because a power outage is a good assessment of you know, the things that you're going to be lacking. You know, most people don't get too concerned because it's not a lengthy period of time. You might have instant coffee on hand and things like that. But our mindset for the last 13 years and before has been to make sure that we have things here that we can continue to operate on a regular basis as if nothing has happened. Living the way we do off grid, we've only ever been without power from the sun one time and it lasted three days because we blew a breaker and didn't have a backup at the time. Uh, our mindset is to have two to three backups of all of our most important things, hence the kettles. Um, you know, they do wear over time. But I also have things like the old hand mixer. I use this all the time. In our previous homestead, when we had more wall space, I had all of my antique tools hanging on the wall and they were there for decoration, but they got pulled off, rinsed off, washed off, and used. Um, these, are, these are constants in my day to day and it's what keeps me going. So if I wanna bake and the power's out, you know, I, I can still keep baking. Now, as I was sharing, we've only been without power one time. During the 13 years here, that's it. But 
as we've been here for the 13 years, the power grid here has gone down, I would bet you, over 100 times. It, you know, we'll go into town and they'll be like, yeah, the power's been out for five days. We are totally clueless and we are unaffected. And, and that's how I want you to be. That's how I want your mind to, to operate. I want you to start thinking about the things you need to have to give yourself pleasure, to keep yourself going, um, to make life easy, and that you can keep maneuvering and operating and existing no matter what happens. You know, another really important item in our home is the Berkey. Having this unit on hand is really important. Right now we are getting, bringing water in, so we just feel comfortable putting it through the Berkey for our drinking water. But in a situation where the grid goes down, something happens, you may have to go bucket water from somewhere. If you're in the city, you're going to even have greater struggles, which is a whole other video. But... If you need to filter your water and you don't have a filtration system, you're going to need to be boiling your water all the time, which is fine, but you still won't get all the contaminants out. I like these units and I would recommend that if you are considering getting one, that you get one soon. Um, inflation is hitting everything and uh, rumor has it that Berkey will be going up 10 to 30% in February. So go to treyerwilderness.com slash Berkey. You can get yourself hooked up, find some discounts. These are great items and a must have. Having the charcoal filters on hand is really important. So not only having a unit, but having backup filters. We just got to think long term. And truly, guys, this is not um, a waste of money. I really feel that these purchases and getting yourself set up in a way like this is an investment in your future and there isn't anything better than percolator coffee or french press coffee for that matter but think about those things you know some of you might use electric knife sharpeners have manual sharpeners on hand i want to show you one of my favorite items that i have okay this right here is my arcade cast iron and glass coffee grinder I had this for 13 years. This was our housewarming gift to ourselves, and I absolutely love this thing. Um, also, having lanterns. Um, I don't know if you noticed others, but I have lanterns all over the house. Um, there's intention behind that. Yes, I am off grid. I do have lights, though. I do have, you know, solar provides power. But I also like the quaintness and and just to enjoy a candle or a, or a lantern burning periodically. But if something were to happen, an EMP were to hit and our solar would be toasted, I'm not in the dark, pun intended. So keeping these things in mind and having the things you need, you know, I don't know what appliances you have. I have a grain mill. It is a hand crank grain mill. I do also have an electric one because when I'm doing things in bulk, it's nice to use the electric one. But I do have the hand crank, which can also be hooked up to a bicycle. Preparing ahead is really important. Now, I'm just talking about household appliances. I am not talking about the tools you need to exist, but the same thought process you use in your kitchen should be the same thought process that you carry through everything you do in your home and on your homestead, in your place, however you live. In our previous homestead, we had all of our cross-cut saws and two-man saws hanging on the wall. Right now, there's no room for them in here, um, but there wasn't. they weren't just decorations, although they look amazing, and I love old tools, but we use everything we have. So... Just to give you an example, at another arena on our homestead, we do a lot of uh, felling of trees, both for firewood and for building. We have a sawmill. Not only having 
that chainsaw, but extras, extra parts, extra oils, bar oil, the, the additive, the chains, all of those things, having extra and having them on hand is really important. But also, if there is no longer gas or oil or any of those things available to us, we're not dead in the water and we don't just have to use an ax. Having everything you need to do what you need to do is what you guys need to think about. Thinking out of the box. And, you know, I say that, but I realize that sometimes people don't understand what I mean. Because I know that we think very differently than the average man. We've lived this, we, we grew up thinking this way. And I've been living this way for 13 years here. Having what you need on hand to keep moving forward is really important. Seeds for your garden, canning equipment so that you can keep canning, extra um, gaskets for your canners so that if one goes bad, you have a replacement. Planning forward, planning, you know, I guess the best way to do it is plan like none of that stuff will be available anymore. And just keep incrementally stocking up on the things you need. I love antique stores. I love thrift stores. You know, the antiques I've shown you, I mean, that's how old and it works amazing. They're made heavier. They're heavy duty tools that work and have stood the test of time. You know, same, I'm looking at my washing machine as I'm talking to you guys, it's across the room. Not only, you know, your kitchen and your shop and all those things, but you know, things like soaps and, and, uh, the thing with soaps is I have a lot stocked, but I also know how to make my own. Having the things on hand to make my own in the event I need to same with candles. You know, I, I have all that stuff available, ready to go and knowing how to do it is important. But with the washing machine, you know, things fall apart, what are you gonna do? You know, something as simple as a five gallon bucket and a plunger could save you tremendously. Having that on hand so that you can easily take care of your family's needs, you know, or go hit the river, the creek, the stream with a rock, whatever you gotta do. But I want you to think about this because if we were ever to be thrown into that situation, our days wouldn't be any different than they are now, but yours would. And I'm sharing that with you today so that if this were to occur, if it ever happens, if you end up in a natural disaster, you are in a position and in a mindset and in a place to be able to switch gears, get out the things that are going to help you through, that are going to keep you going and that are going to keep you moving in the right direction. Otherwise, you end up in a really bad place because all of your modern conveniences are no longer and, and you're in a position to just sit there and go, now what do I do? I don't want to see you guys in that space. I don't want to see you guys in that space at all. So I want you to start thinking about the things you need to have, the things that you could, the old timey things you could get to replace just something as simple as a coffee pot. I will put links down below uh, for some of the things that we use and share. I also have a blog post out there with information on that that I will put in the description below. I'd also love for you to ask me questions. You know, I hope that this has spurred some thought. If you haven't thought about any of these things previously, please start thinking about them. As you have questions, come back, leave me a message or email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com or join our community, treyerwilderness.com slash community. It's an amazing space to come ask questions, get answers, share your knowledge, ask for prayers. It's an amazing group of like-minded, very welcoming people, and I'm, I'm very proud of our community. I want to help you, and I want to keep you moving in a positive and forward direction. Things are questionable. Inflation is hitting. I'm sharing this now so that you can get the things you need. 
Um, yard sales are another great place to go looking for things. You know, if you need to, I spoke about it in the food video previously, you know, being able to quickly take care of maybe your frozen food, having a dehydrator on hand. You know, Excalibur is having a lot of sales right now. I'll put the link below. Uh, if you don't have propane or gas or electric and you don't have a means of cooking, how are you going to cook? You know, you got to think about these things. I have a sun oven. I use it all summer long. I have used it in the wintertime as well. I will put a link for them below as well because uh, sun oven has a lot of sales going on right now also. Um, but prices are going to start rising. And, you know, some of the things that we do have, the Berkey, the sun oven, the Excalibur, they're pricey items. Even my, uh, my, my uh, wheat mill, they're pricey. But if we're going to spend our hard-earned money, I am investing it in something I know is going to last because there's nothing more frustrating to me than spending money on something that's a piece of junk. So the resources I share with you are things I use and they're things I value and they're things I'm thankful I invested in and it was a good investment. So yes, yeah, sometimes you do need to spend a lot of money. You hear me say all the time, I'm frugal, but there is a time and a, and a place to spend your money on the right things. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you. And again, I will have links down below, but keep your questions coming. We've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of people seeking knowledge. I'm going to continue this series with the from scratch cooking and how to also um, prepare and know how much food to have if you are cooking from scratch. Those two videos are coming next along with others. I am going to start an off-grid series to help explain and debunk a lot of the misconceptions of off-grid living, but also guide you if you're wanting to do that or even add some of that to your lifestyle. Um, two things that have just come to mind as I'm saying those things is consider your medical needs. We will talk about that on another short video. But um, as you're preparing for things, if you're on like a CPAP machine and the power goes out, do you have something to charge that? I do. I have a little unit. It's part of our system here. I will do a short video on medical health as well so that we can you know, get the ball rolling there, the mind spinning in the direction of things you need to think about for that as well. Um, I hope this was helpful. These are going to be short and sweet, but I'm going to keep hitting and, and focusing on, on areas to help you really start thinking deeper into this because I think we're going to be living out of this space for a while. It could get worse. It might get better, but this way you're prepared. Okay. So thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. God bless.